Just one hour. Six hours later. Don't let this be you. Hey, what's up? So today I just want to talk about how to make coding fun and stay consistent every day. I'm going to break it down into a few key points that will keep you motivated and actually excited to code. All right, let's start with the first one. Finding and building a project that you actually care about, this one's huge. If you're just doing random tutorials or just exercises that don't mean much to you, it's easy to get bored and lose focus. So right now I'm working on this uh, mobile app. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I thought... Um, it's gonna be good for the community at Discord. Um, the Discord community. It's called uh, Light Social. Um, it, it, I'm, I have to. I'm working on like the forgot password screen. So uh, it's like kind of just like things, kind of like keep me interested in the code. Just if you're doing something fun, it doesn't really feel like work. It just feels like you're working on a hobby. So that's one thing that you can do. Next up is accountability. So one thing that we always have is uh, the Discord. Um, coding accountability channel so we everybody just types like maybe something they've done for that day and it kind of keeps you accountable and uh, gamifies it a little bit as well so that I don't think that'll segue into the next one you know and if you are not in a community or something you can definitely join the community the link is in the description and just uh, start taking advantage of coding accountability we also have fitness accountability just holding people like accountable and telling people what you're doing is really not for anyone else but for yourself and that's going to help you a lot and we also have slash leaderboard levels levels yeah so in the levels you'll see that uh you can see other people who who has coded the most this month and things like that and it really helps um keep people accountable so, and like this will segue into kind of gamifying it. I once challenged myself to commit code every day for a month. And honestly, just seeing my kid up streak grow kept me motivated. So one thing that I really like looking at is, um, you know, like uh, even when I was uh, a, a tech lead and I was hiring people, when people would share their GitHub, the one thing I'd always look at is their uh, GitHub activity. So if you have no... Uh, activity uh, on your github it kind of shows that um, maybe you are not you are not coding as much or something like that so and uh, filling these you know activity green marks is really fun as well another key thing remember why you started coding in the first place think back to what got you into this for me it was the idea of building my own apps and working for myself one day which I think I'm doing so when things get tough and they will they really will uh, remind yourself on why, and it can help you push through and stay on track. Was it because you wanted to build your own app, land a cool job, solve problems that matter to you? Whatever it was, keep that reason front and center. And make sure you know, you're always that person that wants to challenge yourself, learn new things, and solve problems. And those are kind of the three things. You know, learn new things, challenge yourself, and build cool solutions. And you know, when I first started coding, I really wanted to change my lifestyle. I, I was teaching at ESL at the time, and I don't know if any of you guys have been in Korea, but there's a lot of people here that get stuck in doing ESL like for a really long time, and um, I didn't want to fall into that trap. And I wanted to kind of carve my own path, and I think I've I'm accomplishing that and I'm you know I'm always striving to become better and um, you know it's really easy to get into what's comfortable and uh, what you know but um, you know going into those unknowns um, really push you and put your back up against the wall and when your back is up against the wall like I was I think I just bent on myself and I didn't give up and I just uh, kept on working and um, trying to get my coding skills up still getting my coding skills up still learning, still uh, still absorbing, and um, now I'm, I'm kind of trying to kind of uh, show a little bit more as well of how I did it, and um, you know, I always say it in every video, like if I can do it, you can do it too, and it sounds really cheesy, but I, uh, 
I really believe that because I'm not, you know, I'll say it one more time. I'm not like the smartest guy. I'm not anything special. But I, um, but I just, I, uh, I know the task at hand and I know what can change my life. And I hope that coding can change your life as well. And even like um, for the course, like uh, we're putting out, putting out really soon. Uh, one night I was just talking to Minnie and I was like, he was like, hey, build a casino app. And I was like, okay, I don't really know what casino app is. So uh, we just got into building a, a slot machine project. I'll pull that up now. Uh, hold on. Uh, code Redfield uh, Courses Web Dev Course uh, Nine Three And we we have a bunch of these little projects that we're working on that you guys can follow along and build with me. Um, right here, I have. A nice little go live and it's a little slot machine I thought it was pretty fun and it has a little bug but there is a winning condition in the middle that um that'll work and I'm still figuring that out but it'll be done soon and you guys can build this uh, with me soon and um, lastly let's not forget about the fundamentals like Code Wars I remember getting stuck in tutorial hell until I started doing Code Wars challenges every day. It was frustrating at first, but once I solved the problems that I had been struggling with, it felt like a huge win. They're perfect for practicing algorithms and getting good at problem solving, which is super important for coding. Plus, they're designed like a game with rankings and challenges, so it was fun and productive at the same time. Spend a little time each day on platforms like that and you'll see real improvements real fast. I do Code Wars a lot. Um, if you, if you guys have not joined, you guys can uh, join my clan. Uh, it's in the count settings. And you just have to write lead fill in all lowercase here. Um, I'm always like pretty, you know, doing a lot. I've, I've completed 1,888 puzzles here. Um, they're pretty fun. They just give you a little bit of a, a boilerplate or whatever with tests, and you just have to figure them out. Um, they're pretty, a lot of them, they can get very simple or they can be very hard. So just um, just take advantage of all the tools online, you know? Like uh, the internet's like the biggest resource in the world. So just um, take advantage of them. And uh, yeah, so, all right, quick recap. Find and build a project that excites you. Use accountability tactics to stay consistent. Game fire coding process to keep it fun. Remember why you started coding. And use sites like Code Wars to nail the fundamentals. If you stick even to a couple of these, I promise it'll make a difference. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.